So we think that the FDA serves as a, a government agency to tell us whether drugs have more benefits than risks and therefore are worthy of being on the market. That's not true. What the FDA has is really two functions. One function is um, to assess whether they meet some sort of efficacy standard, so we don't just put complete crap out there. At least that's the idea. Um, and two, that we warn of risks. The FDA is not actually supposed to make an assessment whether the benefits outweigh the risks. They're saying, do you meet some minor standard for efficacy, and are you warning of risks? That's all. But they're not saying whether this is really going to be helpful to the population at large. And then additionally, they gather ongoing you know, data about new risks that show up. And generally what they'll say is if new risks are showing up, you've got to put it on the label. That's serving that warning function. Now, if things become a real threat, like they're killing people, that's when the, the FDA may move, may move to remove the drug from the market. But here's the problem. The FDA is not charged with seeing whether drugs are, are really beneficial. They're just charged meeting the standard for getting drugs on the market and labeling, basically. That's it. And that's a, that's a big problem in society because we think the FDA is the arbiter of whether the drugs are worthwhile. They're not. That's not their function. And now we go back to the academic profession. That's their function. They're the ones who are really supposed to be using the science to say, should we be using this therapy? That's the problem. We do not have in our society, around psychiatric drugs, any sort of group with authority that really is making that assessment.